for cameraman. So here's your turnaround. Hello to all of my beautiful viewers. This is the Spetsnaz variant of our AK-74U. This is number two of five. So we have three more coming, all with complete different looks. This one, we did have a PBS4 suppressor, but the threads were messed up on it. So we didn't want to have to redo a three hour print for just showing off for two seconds. But we also have here going from the 74U's iron sights to a red dot sight. So very cool that we just got to print this and hardware was all on hand as well as the hand guards, lower and upper, and this uh, foregrip right here, Magpul style, and our flashlight Picatinny mount. Really cool about this, it's got nice vented design, but still has built-in Picatinny rails, so this is technically a quad rail, but not all the way through, just for grip ability wise. Now the flashlight is in the way here, but I really don't mind the grip here, especially since this is just a little bit for YouTube or else if it was a real life application, I would probably have it on the right. Moving on, we have something really cool here, a new grip that is only 3D printable design. So this is from Thingiverse, not my design, but this is just awesome for my big hands. I got Cheeto fingers here, excuse the red, but it fits so nicely and this stop here is super ergonomic. It's not just like a, hey, you reached the end. It's like, hey buddy, you're kind of getting to the end, so stop slipping off. Very good there. And that is all the attachments that we have on this build here. Originally, when we had the Draco build, we had 762 magazine. All we really did was just swap it out. Now we do have another one of this from the AK-105, so it's right there. As soon as I just put it on, it's good, but we have some wobble with that. So we left it out for this clip. The cocking, same as the AK-105, you know, hop up. Everything is still the same from the AK Draco video that you guys saw except like I mentioned before, this one suppressor. This is the PBS4 suppressor. I printed this maybe a year or two ago, but this looked kind of off on here, in my opinion, so I just left it out. But anyway, for those of you who can't imagine what it would look like, you just got a little sneak peek. Now, other than that, all of this is being printed with Genos's 3D printer filament and my good workhorse here, with its new setup, um, doing really good with our time lapses. The lighting is absolutely perfect. And other than that, we've had a big breeze with Genos for the end of the year. They sent us four rolls for these last couple videos. And we really are outdoing with one video a week. Whereas before it was about two videos a month, if we chose to do that. Now I say chose because sometimes I did get lazy and addicted to this gaming, but we're gonna do really good next year and we hope to continue this. Continuing these other three variants, we have blah, blah, and blah, which I don't wanna give away yet, but one of them I will give away. It has to do with this small piece here. Anybody knows what this is? Any super enthusiasts of AKs or and or M4s? Let me know down below, but how would this go on here? Whoever tells me, I will pin your comment and dub you the most knowledgeable airsoft person for this video. But other than that, all we did was a mag change to change barrel, whereas in real life, you'd have to change out the barrel and I don't know much, but a lot. <laughs> Let's get to the disassembly here. Now the 74U is an amazing model to start out with if you want to do modifications or any sort of 3D printing in Airsoft. Why? This is super easy to work with, the popping up of this and then the lever in the front just allows us to be free with no tools at all. So this is the top handguard here, a very good print by someone designed on Thingiverse. Thanks to them for this. All the links will be down below. And for our lower handguard, we just gotta flip that switch, bring this forward, and surprise, we have our entire lower handguard off. And as for the top, this sight that I showed off earlier, it's just two bolts, um, two and a half millimeter Allen bolts right here. As soon as that comes off, this comes off as well. And the reason why I was speaking about the 74U being a nice model to start with, you see this little pin here? It's really nice that it just, you know, this actuates that, so it makes it a breeze to change from being a Draco 
to a Spetsnaz model very fast. And finally, the mag. Once you change that and pop off the stock, that's it. You go back to being a completely different airsoft. And that is really cool to do because if you're going to be playing for about five hours on end in a day, you might get tired of one loadout and you might want to go with, hey, I want a more free uh, airsoft gun. You know, yes, you can collapse this stock and say I have a Draco, but realistically, you have so much in your way. So that's why I'm so happy to be 3D printing all of these kits and also letting everybody know that this is possible with just one model. And also the best of all is that I want to know every, I want to let everybody know about Geno's 3D printer filament and all of their links are down below. That is what I use to print. That is what I've been using to print for the past three years. And everything has been going really well with them. I'm very appreciative that at the end of the year now, they sent me two rolls for just galaxy colors, which is nice, random, transitional with sparkle in there and two black. So we get to do all of these cool gun stuff as well as some holiday stuff, Christmas prints, you know, Christmas trees, cookie cutters, everything. We've still been doing that as well. So stay tuned. And also for everybody who doesn't know, we are live streaming now a lot more often. So definitely go check out all of our live streams because that is a big help with watch hours. And once we get monetized, we're going to be able to be doing more giveaways a lot and actual airsoft giveaways. So definitely go ahead, subscribe, comment, like everything helps us even a share. I do have a little secret for you guys. I have not shot this airsoft gun ever. Yes, I have dry fired it a little bit for videos, but I have never actually shot a BB through it. Hop up is virgin hop up everything. And it's been about two months. Yeah, that is my fault. But setting up outside is completely difficult right now, especially since the last time we did it, it was really dark and my lights aren't enough yet. Now, speaking of that, we have improved video quality a lot. I've actually gone time, taken the time to focus on uh, certain things while I'm behind the camera. And these are pretty much the best settings that I could get out of my Canon M50. I've swapped out light bulbs in my room. And for some of you who haven't noticed, this thing has been hanging as a microphone because echoing is a little bit too much in my videos and there's nothing I can do about that in videos. But other than that, I'm really thankful for everybody who's watched so far and everybody who cares. Um, I'll be posting a lot more soon because of all these picks and actually people have been showing a lot of interest in this, in this entire project. So stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, keep printing with Genos. Better ingredients, better pizza. Genos. For this loadout, I cannot afford cameraman, so here I'm going to soil for you.